So first of all, right off the bat, I want to apologize for taking so long to upload a new video, but I am a full-time master student, I work full-time, and in addition to working on the game engine, I've had several other projects to work on at the same time. Uh, but the good news is, is that I'm finally done with the game engine, and I'm actually very happy with the way that it's turned out. In this tutorial series, we're going to be using this game engine to create our own games. There are lots of free uh, game engines out there. So why would you choose this one? Well, the first reason is that this is completely free and open source. So you can really use it with without any strings attached. Second reason why you may want to consider using this game engine is that it's very easy to use. Uh, it's very cleanly written and well documented, which is what makes it easy to use. Third reason why you may want to consider using this game engine is that it's very fun to use. I've actually worked incredibly hard um, to ensure that it, this game engine will be fun to use. In my opinion, what's the point of using a game engine if, if you're not going to have fun programming it? The fourth reason why you may want to consider using this game engine is that I'm going to be continuing to contribute to the game engine. So for you uh, newer developers and maybe intermediate developers as well, this is a good opportunity for you to contribute to the code base, to contribute to a large code base and have some guidance from a more experienced developer. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do have quite a few other things to do at this time, but I do promise to allocate any free time that I have uh, to support this game engine and anyone who uh, decides to contribute to it. That's it for this video. I know it was really short. That was on purpose. Uh, most people tend to have a very short attention span these days, so I'm planning on making these videos a lot shorter than my previous tutorials. Um, in the following videos in this series, we're going to actually work through an example of creating a game using this game engine. And I think by working through an example together, we're going to naturally cover the most important and the main parts of the game engine. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.